what else we got? Oh yeah, we've got next on this, we've got this. So this is courtesy of Pitchfork. This is a review for Olivia Rodrigo's new album called Sour, right? And I'm sure most people are aware of who Olivia Rodrigo is. She obviously had that standout, you know, breakout hit over the last what year or so it feels like um driver's license and then she dropped an album um 11 tracks of pure and utter pop bliss really right really impressive debut album to be completely honest and something very surprising as well when you consider how corny and annoying that driver's license album single was right i absolutely hated it i'm just fortunate that i didn't have to it's actually a good thing that the world wasn't open when driver's license dropped because that's the kind of thing that you would have heard playing in shopping malls and on radios everywhere just kind of that kind of money middle of the road nothing single it just kind of plays in the background continuously it's the sort of thing that you'd hear if you went to like a h&m changing room somewhere right it's just horrendous but for some reason she did this amazing thing where like the album sounds nothing like that single like all the other tracks are just like really clear blissful sort of like you know agony induced of course because the whole album is basically a, a tribute to breakups right when how much they suck and i think if you're somebody that's obviously been going through a rough time with your partner during covid don't listen to sour because it'll definitely make you cry but it's just such a nice record as an album front to back it really is but it's also made me wonder and question as to why am I even listening to this and why do I care? Is this maybe another example as to how dead and devoid we are of like good art nowadays that I'm paying attention to Olivia Rodrigo because there's just nothing else going on, right? There's nothing else happening. So now we've kind of, you're paying attention to stuff that you don't necessarily care about. You don't necessarily, you know, are interested in and you're you're never in a position nowadays because there's just so much content out there to ever be like you know what i just don't know about this thing i don't care um it's not for me and i'm just going to keep it moving Be and also there's this thing as well that i realized with this stuff too there's it's impossible not to have heard one of her songs it's just literally impossible unless you're just somebody that just generally doesn't you know go on the internet and doesn't have a, a feed of any kind that's you know being populated to you by an algorithm of some sort it's just impossible not to have ever heard her voice in some way shape or form you've probably seen her face you maybe seen her name written somewhere but it's impossible not to have heard some bit of her music so because of that you're then forced to have an opinion on the stuff that she puts out and it's just like maybe we shouldn't be like this in it but it's different for me because i think i try and i kind of pride myself on being open and you know available to listen to anything like as long as it's good music i'll listen to it i don't really care i don't have this sort of like you know um artistic snobbery when it comes to stuff right as long as it's kind of um good and it has some value behind it and it comes from a you know a pure place and it's trying to tell a story blah blah blah, blah. and even if it's not i'm still going to listen to it right um and give it a go at least listen to it once and the only thing i don't like is when they try and force and when they try and pretend like what you're listening to that's crap it's actually good that's the only thing that annoys me for instance this elite of rodrigo's album is 10 times better and it, like you know infinitely better than anything i've ever heard from taylor swift right she might have some good singles out there but in terms of her overall albums they are so boring right i just find them so utterly boring so devoid of any sort of life like just they kind of mirror what i think of her maybe as a person right she's a little bit dull and this obviously has some sort of color to it there's some vibrancy to it there's something about what she does obviously you know who knows maybe this album has a ton of people helping to write it and you know if, if the sales don't do well in the second album most likely the third album will be a huge dip in terms of the quality of the sound of the song making because you generally see with pop stars whenever they're like really red hot they always seem to have like banger singles after banger singles but the moment they start to dip in terms of the appeal and the traction they get with fans all of a sudden the song quality is really dip because there's not a lot of money to you know the record labels unwilling to put the money behind the record a good example is like sam smith sam smith when he was red hot he couldn't not make a good single and then the moment his single stopped resonating with the public his the quality of the single started to dip as well because the record label were unwilling to put the money behind the record because they knew they were going to be able to get it back so who knows maybe Rodney Rodrigo is a flipping phenom and she's just writing all these stuff herself in her bedroom and just getting them sharpened up by pros but it's just like there's not a miss on the entire album 
There's no miss. It doesn't. There's no skips, no miss from front to back. It's just solid. It just goes bang, 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 bang. And again, lyrics wise, if you're paying attention and you're in a bit of a vulnerable place, it'll definitely make you tear up a bit. And this is definitely an album that's deserving of a live audience, deserving of her playing it on stage, you know, and having people kind of, you know, singing and screaming these lyrics out to her back and forth and stuff. It's going to be electric to see how this performs live for sure. Um, but again, I don't know, man should i care about this probably not it shouldn't be within my remit it shouldn't be something that comes across my listening desk desk but because there's just not a lot going on in culture overall it feels like like i'm having to pay attention to things that i probably shouldn't be paying attention to and things i probably should have an opinion on because am i likely to keep an eye on her next record probably not but again as an overall piece of music this is definitely up my alley and again you know it's just sonically um track listing wise the length of it it's just perfect right it, one to eleven i think the tracks are it caps out to about 25 if i'm not if i'm not mistaken i think it's like under 40 minutes as well it's just like the perfect listen legitimately one of the perfect listen so if you're a fan of pop music or if you're a taylor swift fan i definitely think you should jump out on the olivia rodrigo train um if you're a phoebe bridges fan because she's gone a bit off the wild end right she started she went on jimmy kimmel and you know fake pretend to smash a guitar on stage and now suddenly she thinks she's flipping you know some sort of punk queen um you know she's getting a bit annoying so if you're not on that train anymore then definitely switch over to leave her rodrigo because she definitely has something she definitely has the it factor she has the it factor without even trying you know that thing that they're doing now with dua lipa where they just you know whoever the Lipa's record label is they just they're just hell bent on making sure that they force her pop stardom down our throats right they just want you to know that they want to make her the next madonna and it's just it feels too forced at least with alicia rodrigo she's got something about her right there's something about olivia rodrigo it's just like she has the it factor now should i be paying attention probably not but i am and i thought the album was good so definitely give it a listen if you are that way inclined because i thought it was very impressive myself